Now with the coronavirus, thousands of students all across our first coast will have to pivot from the classroom to go home and do online learning. On Monday, that's the case for Duval County Public Schools. So tonight, Duval Homeroom starts in three days and we have kind of a tutorial on how their instructions are going high tech. On your side, Robert Bradfield explains. Duval Homeroom took about two weeks to build. DCPS district staff working on the rollout the first week of spring break. But come Monday, virtual learning will be the new normal. We actually designed this to try to mimic virtually the, the real school environment. Students should not be surprised by the rollout, according to district staff, because the programs they'll be using at home are what they're used to in the classroom. Duval Homeroom, which can be accessed on the district's homepage, allows students to access their OneView and Microsoft Teams accounts remotely. The tabs at the top will also direct them to their grade levels. We're asking for patience. We're treating this first day, this first couple days, almost like orientation time. The district expects a few hiccups, which is why there will be a technical support hotline. That information will also be on the home page. Teachers will be available through video conferencing with a virtual school day running from 8 a.m. to 2.50 p.m. Teachers are setting up this up in different ways, so it'll be probably a mixture of, again, that synchronous, we're chatting now, and asynchronous, uh, you know, I'm going away, go do these assignments, and then we come back. And that'll be all of that activity and schedule will be driven by your teacher. This sign outside San Jose Elementary School says see you on March 16th. However, this virtual learning will last until April 15th. That's how long the state's Department of Education is planning for this style of learning. However, it could be extended. In Jacksonville, Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.